Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. A big thank you to Wizard Games for sponsoring this video. We'll be looking at games releasing from the 7th of January up until the 14th, and as we haven't had a video of this sort for a couple of weeks, we'll first mention any games that came out in the period from the last video up until now. So what's coming to the Switch this week? Well, let's find out. We'll begin by looking at a game releasing this week from the sponsors of today's video and that's TurboShot. This is a free to play top down twin stick shooter with puzzle elements which will provide single player and multiplayer PvP modes as well as daily challenges. Single player mode will see you attempt to clear a set number of locations or rooms by defeating all enemies and solving environmental puzzles in order to progress with boss fights being thrown into the mix and everything being tied together by a narrative involving the Turbo Shot cast of characters. As I mentioned there is also online multiplayer which is a player versus player affair where 12 players are pitted against each other in a large area filled with enemies. There will also be environmental hazards to overcome and the first player to collect 50 crystals and power up the teleporter wins. Crystals can be earned that are used to open turbo chests which contain new characters and weapons and new seasons will kick off every two months which will add new worlds, enemies, maps and characters to name a few. It is going to release on the 13th of January. On to a couple of games that are already out then as I said and the first is Death Smiles. This contains three titles in the Shoot'em Up series, Death Smiles the arcade original from 2007, the upgraded Mega Black Label version and the sequel Death Smiles Merry Christmas in Hell. These are developed by Cave and are very well loved shooters and each game comes with the arcade version, the home console version and an arranged version too. There are training modes and online rankings to round out the package. And the other game we'll highlight, for those that are already out, is 12 Minutes, which comes from Annapurna Interactive. I seem to remember this being announced at an Indie Direct some months ago, and it's an interactive thriller about a man trapped in a time loop. You find yourself trapped in the same 12 minute loop after your wife is accused of murder and you are killed, and you must make use of the knowledge of what's to come to try and change your fate. It includes the voice acting talent of James McAvoy, Daisy Ridley and Willem Dafoe and it will cost you £19.99 or your regional equivalent. Looking at the games coming out this week and the first is called Headland. This is an adventure game where you play as Noor on a quest to restore the colour from your world that has been stolen by sinister forces. You'll need to explore the islands of Headland, collecting blueprints to expand your arsenal of weapons and taking on a cast of monsters in the process. The blurb also gives mention to a dedicated dance button to make of that what you will and it's going to sell for £17.99 and it releases on the 12th. The next one is Astronia, which is a sandbox adventure game that released elsewhere back in 2019. It's set during the 25th century where Astroneers explore the frontiers of outer space to unearth rare discoveries and unlock the mysteries of the universe. It's playable with up to four players both locally and online and players can work together to build custom bases above or below ground. The blurb goes on to say that you can reshape the world as you see fit, survive and explore planets and collect components to build bases and vehicles. It has a Metacritic score of around the 70s for other systems and if you've played it elsewhere please do let us know in the comments section if it is any good. It will sell for £23.74 or your regional equivalent. Next game then is Nova 111 or Nova 111, which is a game I seem to remember playing and enjoying on the Wii U. It's a sci-fi themed turn-based game with a real-time action twist as you pilot your trusty vessel through mysterious foreign planets. A heavy emphasis is put on preparation for fights and there are puzzles to solve too. There are upgrades to collect and abilities such as Time Stop that you can use to your advantage as you traverse the worlds. As I mentioned it was on the Wii U and I believe the Vita as well, possibly on other consoles of the time too and it's going to sell for £8.99 which is a pretty decent price if you've never played it before.
You also have The Last Friend coming out this week, although at the minute I can only see it on North American stores, and this appears to be a tower defense game of some description, where the concept is that all of the world's dogs have disappeared, and you play as a man called Alpha, who finds a mutant dog in the wastelands that he can communicate with. This sees you teaming up with your new friend to try and find who let the dogs out, basically. It has a variety of bizarre weapons such as super soakers, wire traps and steel walls at your disposal as you try to stop the enemies from getting through. And judging by the amount of dog related puns in the blurb, I'm assuming there's going to be a fair bit of humour thrown in there for good measure. Next is Team Fight Manager, which is a management simulation game where you become the coach of an esports team. You must find the best combination of champions for your players to use and then have the match process unfold. You are able to grow your team by providing them with better resources, train them up or recruit better players all the while taking finances into account. I do really enjoy management simulation games when the subject matter is something that interests me, which isn't really the case here I must say, although I did watch an interesting documentary on Netflix, I can't remember what it was called now, but it was about a man who won a Street Fighter 2 tournament as a kid before growing up, getting out of gaming, having to do the usual everyday routines we all have to do as we get older, but by a twist of fate has ended up coaching a Street Fighter esports team. It was actually quite a nice story. Anyway, this game is going to cost £7.39 and it releases on the 13th. And finally, for what is a quiet week, is Airy Dreamscape. There are a large number of airy games on the Switch and they appear to be zen-like experiences where you play as a bird-like spirit and soar across pleasant, low-poly landscapes. In this version, you are entering the minds of other people with each world representing the thoughts, fears and ambitions of that particular person. You can find memory shards as you fly across the levels and these will open up more of the narrative with each person's imagination acting as a separate story. As I said, there are a lot of these to choose from and this particular one will sell for £9.99 or your regional equivalent. So there you have it, there's the first upcoming games video of 2022, a quiet one which is to be expected to be perfectly honest, it's so early in the year, but it does look as if there are some interesting games coming in the weeks going forward. Now I'll be honest I haven't even looked at the eShop on the Switch for a good couple of weeks now after we made our 12 days of Switch Up videos, I had a nice break and actually played some of the games on my shelf for fun would you believe, what an abstract concept I know but I have completed a few games which will help with the next Battle in the Backlog video, which will be out, no doubt, in a couple of weeks' time. If I have missed anything obvious due to being out of the loop for a couple of weeks, please do let me know and I will stick it at the front of next week's video. Another big thank you to Wizard Games for sponsoring this video. Don't forget their game is coming out this week on the 13th of January. Thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.